Back out to Rod Hill, who's missing out on this, but he's having fun outside. He's at Mount Scott Park. Rod, what's the best day looking like maybe over the weekend? Well, you know, today we, we made a big deal that today's kind of kicking off the fact that we're finally drying out. We have that spotty shower chance later, but we'll be in the mid 60s, I think, easily tomorrow easily on Friday. We are tracking a, a weak system on Saturday. It doesn't look like it does much, but it brings at least a chance of some scattered showers. Probably still 60. Gives you an idea. It's still a good day overall. And then that big warm up. Sunday, maybe upper 60s into the 70s on Monday and really much of next week looks pretty good too. Sound good? Sounds better, right? Sounds better, yeah. Hey, by the way, we are here at uh, Mount Scott Park to celebrate Arbor Day. And if you're just tuning into the show this Saturday, come on in, guys. This Saturday, there's a huge celebration for Arbor Day out here. Parks and Rec uh, with Portland uh, putting this on. And we're going to be learning about these beautiful fir trees that we have in our area. And then also there's lots of other fun things. Real quick, Mark, you're talking about uh, Mark Ross with Portland uh, Parks and Rec. You're talking about live music, face painting, big time family event. Right, and kudos to Dan Gleason here, my, uh, my colleague in urban forestry, part of Portland Parks and Recreation, for spending about four months out of the year organizing Arbor Day so we can bring you amazing things like this. It's so big. What is this thing? <laughs> that is a coulter pine, one of many awesome tree specimens that we'll be showing off at Arbor Day. And that's local to the Northwest? In Mostly. Southern Oregon, you were saying earlier? It can make its way into Southern Oregon. We'll find this guy in our neighbor of California. But we have many impressive cones that uh, of our native trees, which we'll have on display here at Arbor Day. Well, earlier, you know, we, we, we talked about the, the fun tree climbing. We're going to get back to that in a moment. So lots of activities for the whole family. But in terms of education, so if I walk in here and I want to ask you, you said other arborists are going to be uh, here on the grounds. The average age of just the trees here at Mount Scott Park, if you had to save the Douglas firs? I'd say they're about 60, 70 years old. Um, they can look really impressive with the size they grow. Trees grow just so well in the Pacific Northwest, and they do so much for us at providing yeah. so many different benefits. That's why Arbor Day is such a great day to give a little bit back, connect with your neighbors and your friends, learn about the trees around you, and learn about how you can get involved. I mean, they're kind of the symbol of our city, aren't they? I mean, the fabric. yeah, the fabric. They're the fabric of our city. <laughs> yeah. With $1.2 million uh, trees, uh, dollars, they're, they're worth a lot of money, you know? And when you fly into the airport, it's the first thing you see. They're the fabric of our land. And, you know, I'm just really excited that Dan and, and Urban Forestry have pine cones like this to have to pique kids' curiosity because we need them to grow up and learn about trees. And you can come for a free celebration this Saturday from 10 to 3 with the entire family and enjoy live music, face painting, giveaways, arts and crafts, and a little something like uh, what uh, oh, Damien's yeah. doing over here. We got, okay, you ready, Nick? Let's Damien get Now, I made it look a little difficult, but watch him go. He's just pulling himself up the tree. He's going crazy. And a slight correction, we all know that the PDX carpet at the airport is the number one fabric of our society. <laughs> but the fir trees are a close second. I don't see any owls living in the carpet, but it is probably the most photographed thing. But no, this, this uh, expedition old growth, okay. Damien is up in that tree showing you what you can do for free this Arbor Day. It's all safe and, yeah. and supervised. All right, we got to go, but you can do that this weekend. It's crazy. He is almost as up as high as I was moments ago. All right. Sure. Oh, Back again. to you guys. Yeah. Ron, thank you. All that fun <laughs> happening at Mount Scott Park on Saturday. And we have another idea.